Hello everyone, welcome to our next video and today we are going to discuss about the criteria for the similarity of triangles. So without wasting much time, let's get into it. As we know from our previous knowledge, that similarity of triangles depends on whether their sides are in proportion or their corresponding angles are equal. By that I mean that if two triangles are similar, then their corresponding angles will be equal and their corresponding sides will be in proportion. So, if I have two triangles, suppose triangle ABC and triangle PQR, then in this case, if the two triangles are similar, then what we expect to have is angle A must be equal to angle P, angle B must be equal to angle Q and angle C must be equal to angle R. So, if that is the case and along with that, if the side AB, Q, the ratio of these two sides, length of the two sides, if the ratio of BC and QR and the ratio of AC and PR are equal, then in that case these two triangles will be similar. By that, if I write it down, that if angle A equals angle P, angle B equals angle Q and angle C equals angle R, if these the corresponding angles are equal and at the same time the ratio of AB and PQ to the ratio of BC and QR to the ratio of AC and PR are equal. If the ratios of the corresponding sides are equal, in these cases the two triangles will be similar. Now if we want to move on to the criteria for similarity of triangles, we have three criteria and they are named as angle 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 side 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 and side angle side criteria which are very simple and we will use these two uh, assumptions or these two criteria in those uh, three postulates. So let us see what we have. According to the angle 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 criteria or by in short form we write AAA criteria. In the AAA criteria it says that if the corresponding angles are equal then the two sides are similar. So if angle A equal to angle P, if these two angles are equal, if B is equal to Q and C is equal to R. If we have these three equal, then these two triangles will be similar. How? Because if we have the angles equal, then automatically what happens is these sides become proportional. If we have angle A, A equal to P, B equal to Q and C equal to R, automatically what we will find? is the ratio of AB by PQ will be equal to BC by QR and it will be equal to AC by PR. So if these three are equal, if we can show by any means that in two triangles the angles are equal, then the two triangles will be similar. So in that case, triangle ABC will be similar to triangle PQR. So that is the first criteria of angle angle angle. The second criteria is side 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 and it is just the reverse of this. It means, it shows that, uh, if I write it, the side 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 criteria. In this criteria, we are only bothered about the sides and not the angles. So in this case, if by any means we can prove that AB by PQ is equal to BC by QR is equal to AC by PR. So if you, if you can prove that ratio of this to this, this one to this one and this third side to the third side are equal, then the two triangles are similar. Because again it is just the reverse as I said, if the sides are proportional then automatically the angles will be equal. Angle A will be equal to P, B will be equal to Q and angle C will be equal to R. So this is automatic. If these sides become proportional in any triangle, if you take any two triangles and you see that the sides are proportional, if you check the angles you will find that the angles are also equal. And if you see that the angles are equal and you want to check the sides, you will find that the sides are in proportion. So this is all we have our side 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 criteria. So this is the second criteria. The third criteria is a bit different. It is called the side angle side criteria, SAS postulate. So side angle side criteria. So what does it say? It says that if two angles, two corresponding angles of a triangle are equal and the sides containing that angle are in proportion, then the two triangles are in uh, similar, are similar. So what do I mean by that? Ok, 
okay uh, let me remove the angles So what happens here, suppose that angle A and angle P are equal, suppose angle A is equal to angle P and in that case for SAS to be confirmed or for SAS to be satisfied, what we must have is the sides containing these two angles means for angle A, the two sides which contain angle A are AB and AC because AB and AC are making the angle a, I hope it is visible. AB and AC are making the angle A. Here PQ and PR are making the angle P. So what I must have is ratio of AB to PQ that is AB by PQ must be equal to the ratio of AC to PR. So we must have AC by PR. Under these two conditions only we can have triangle ABC similar to triangle PQ. The general mistake that most of the students make here in this case is they think that if we show any two triangles, any two sides in proportion and we take any angle equal then only we can prove but that is the mistake which we should avoid. What we must keep in mind is whatever angle we find equal suppose A equal to P. In that case the sides must be containing the angle. You cannot take AB and BC and from here PQ and QR. No. Because AB and BC uh, are not making this angle. AB and BC are making the angle B. But B is not our angle of choice. Our angle of choice is angle A. So angle A contains AB and AC. Angle P contains PQ and PR. So these two sides from this triangle and these two sides from this triangle must be considered. Suppose the angle is not A. Suppose the angle is C. So suppose angle C is equal to angle R. In that case what will happen? Things will change here. What will happen is if angle C is equal to angle R, if these two angles are equal, then for SAS we must have which two sides make the angle C. You can easily see that these two sides are making the angle C and these two sides are making the angle R. So I must have BC by QR equal to AC by PR. So I must have BC by QR that is this side by this side is equal to AC by PR this side by this side because these two sides combine to make this angle and here these two sides combine to make this angle. So it must be very clear to you that whatever angle you choose must contain the two sides. So it must be attached to the two sides. You can think of it like uh, a sandwich. So whatever angle you are choosing it must be sandwiched between the two sides. It should not be away from the two sides. Okay. If this is the angle these two sides not containing the other side. So that is all about the similarity criteria. We have three criteria AAA, SSS and SAS. So this will be utilized in solving the different problems of this exercise. So for this video that's all and in the next video we are going to discuss about how to solve different sums and how to prove the similarity of triangles using these three criteria. So thank you and until next time.